Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Chronicles of the Average Blind Peeps. Um, hope you enjoyed the last episode. So this one is actually going to be fairly short. Um, I'm just going to be talking about some of the kitchen aids that I use. And um, there's really not all that much to it, but I like to have things color-coded. So I actually found these in... Um, a grocery store so it comes with the cups and the spoons all of them are, are color coordinated so I know which one is goes with which and um, yeah so that that's my personal preference of keeping things organized and so I have those cups and those spoons and I also have this large print measuring cup which hopefully y'all can see that okay. I'm really not really sure, but hopefully this comes through. Um, I was actually lucky enough to find these in um, one of my department stores, but that's also some of the items, these items you can for sure order on the uh, Maxi Aids company website. And of course, for totally blind people, there are braille options of each of these items and sometimes what people will do in order to like mark stoves and stuff is use some puffy paint or raised dots for like the temperature settings for the oven like every hundred degrees or something or if you have a specific setting that you like to keep your burners on like you know you have low medium and high might put a raised dot or two along that and it's the same thing depending on the layout of your microwave you can also do that with the numbers or certain settings because there are braille stickers that you can make and do your own little shorthand um and there are also are even talking microwaves if that is a preference um like i said i do have fairly good vision and what little I have so color coding is just the easiest way for me um, the biggest challenge I ever see as far as cooking is of course you know burning yourself taking items in and out of the oven there are hot pads that go all the way up past your elbow but to be totally honest with you I don't cook enough really to bother and they are of higher grade, so I ended up giving them to my dad's because he is a master at the grill and grills almost every weekend, and he's loving the heck out of them. So I just use a standard oven mitt that goes to, like, right here. And also a really popular alternative is that of glove that they sell in, like, Walgreens and stuff. That's another option. And um, as far as frying... I will not fry my own foods, just that's like one of my huge phobias, even whenever I did it through a blind rehabilitation program where we had to do it under a blindfold, I just had a full on panic attack with doing it, and there are splatter guards that you can get that go over your frying pan to prevent you from being burned, so... Hope y'all enjoyed this episode, um, I am gonna ask for your continued patience in the continuation of this series. I'm getting to the point now where I have more detailed videos that I would like to show, but I do not have the proper editing software or features that I would need to, to do this. So my friend has graciously offered his time to help me do this. But being that it's getting close to the end of the semester at the community college and everywhere else, he is in preparation for final research paper and exams. So future episodes may take a little bit longer to get put up. But rest assured, this series isn't stopping. It just may take a little bit longer. So thank you for your patience. Everybody have a good day.